Hello there, and welcome back to Escape from Tarkov for the third installment of our Hardcore Challenge. Now, I look a little bit like hell at the moment, and there's a good reason for that. I had two of my wisdom teeth out, which was a mistake, it turns out, because I kind of needed that wisdom. Because my next choice was to go and get my second round of the vaccine the next day, and uh, not only was I bleeding from the jaw, but I was also feverishly insane for about three days. So that, that, that kind of sucked. I haven't even shaved my usually very shiny head. Anyway, the first and second episodes of our challenge, they were a little bit disjointed when it comes to, like, tempo and style and speed. Yeah, trying out a couple different things. Got a lot of feedback from the people over on the Discord server. Thank you very much. And in the YouTube comments, appreciate you guys. I think most people prefer the longer form. Um, just without sort of so much door shotgun, you know? The first episode had a lot of door shotguns, you know, just kind of looking at doors and holding a shotgun. That was like 30% of the episode. So, we're gonna have minimal door shotguns going forward, but still most of the gameplay. So, as you guys know, we had a fairly decent run, previous episode. We got out some loot, none of it's really amazing, but all this stuff from Prapo, you know, I was not sure what to do with it, and I think I agree that it just... It doesn't really belong to us, does it? It's not really in the spirit of the challenge to accept those things. Kind of got to get everything from Raid. I was planning to take in this SKS uh, to the next one. And I'm thinking of maybe just dropping the rear sights. Because the, using this thing with the rear sights is a nightmare. You get like this tiny little sight picture. But at the same time, it is a bit more accurate to use it this way, right? Unfortunately, we don't have the... Um, I can't really zoom in much more than that. We don't really have the shooting range where I'd go and test it out there. But I'm going to try it without the rear sights. I've, I've heard that this is a thing you can do. I'll bring them in with me, and if it's like, if it's impossible to work on, you know what, it's fine. It can be modded in Raid says yes, so we can just slot it back in. But I, I, I honestly, I don't really like them very much. So anyway, we've got a slightly better knife. We've got all of the kit we need to to keep moving forward. I think that's all I need to speak about. Um, there were a few good points made about my tactics and strategy so far in this series. I've been playing a little too uh, aggressive, especially for the loot we have right now. I think when, you know, I think we can get to that point um, where I can sort of just see a target and go straight for it. But I think that early on we need to be a lot more sort of careful, you know, take a few pot shots, get a couple guns and get out kind of thing. I'm playing way too aggressively considering if you look at the man on the screen right now, he's got no armor on. So yeah, I a little bit less, a little bit less aggressive this episode. We're gonna probably just try and push for a couple of cheeky scav kills, get those shotguns, get out, get that prepper quest done, and get the ball rolling on the quest line in general. It's a really good way to farm XP, and we're gonna need levels very quickly in order to do some of the hideout upgrades. Uh, yeah, we can't even think about like upgrading the hideout yet. Like we need money and we need goods. So yeah, I'll see you guys in raid. Okay, we're in on customs again, and uh, yeah, the ping's not looking great in the top right there. Uh, I actually previously had all of my regions set up like to very specific servers that I like to play on, right? Uh, ones that I know are fairly close and stable, but uh, the game updated, I didn't notice. And yeah, well, now, <laughs> I think I'm probably on the Russian servers. This tends to be where people get put. Endurance just went up to four, that's pretty great. Uh, my, as you can see, my webcam is off because yes, I'm on I'm on a, I'm on a painkiller or two at the moment, and I'm feeling a little fuzzy. It's kind of distracting to have my own face looking at me. I don't know if uh, don't know if you guys know how that feels. Oh fuck! Well, that's player team. Um, yeah, yeah, shooting straight at me with tracers, it seems. Okay, how's the sight picture without the thing? Ah, it's not terrible. Grenades. I'm gonna make that guy waste his ammo, at least. Oh god, <laughs> the ammo jammed. It's not compatible with the gun. Oh well, we, we screwed up on that one. Not much I can do about that. Well, he didn't get his grenade kill, and that's what matters to me. Yeah. Okay, so the FMJ is not compatible with the SKS. That is very good news to know. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and just take in the pistol. Um, I don't even know if we need to take the extra ammo. I'm tempted to leave it behind, to be honest. I mean, if what, what if we can't win a fight with 18 shots, we're probably not going to win the fight, but against my better judgment, I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to bring it in anyway, right? And uh, we're going to go back to customs. 
but I think we might push for an early morning one this time round. Yeah, we've got a light on the pistols, so that's going to allow us a bit more freeway. We will be able to see something, at least, but we're slightly less likely to have other players. Okay, we're back in customs. Things are a little darker this time, but it's, uh, it's sort of the sun's rising slowly, which is nice. Uh, where are we? Is this big red? No, this is not big red. Oh, I'm up here. Oh god, I hate this warehouse as a spawn. Okay, okay, we need to turn this off then. Because there is a very good chance that we're going to run into players coming across here. In fact, I'm going to preempt that and circle around this way. Make sure we don't run into anybody before I, before I want to run into them, right? No snipers on the roof there. Just be careful. Check out the bunker, see if it's open. If it's not, we'll probably head over towards the gas station, see if we can't pick off a couple scabs there and then just bug out with that. Speaking of which, what are my exfills? Ah, oh, this is closed. Anything? No. Okay. Let's check the... Uh, I think this is a grenade box? Ammo box. Nada. And... Dead scabs can often have, like... They can have guns and stuff on them, so it's worth checking. God damn it, man. <laughs> I, I heard someone running. <laughs> and I was like, hold up, he must be up on the bridge. No, no, he was under the bridge. Um, yeah, clearly, clearly not on my best, uh, best form right here. Okay, okay. We're loading back in to interchange. I'm, uh, I did some, I did some sit-ups, so little more conscious right now um, kind of kind of a little dopey probably not the best I best time to be playing a high skill based um, shooter but you know what it is what it is right we're we're committed now we're committed so I'm actually gonna run over back this way and see if we can't hit those stashes over on this side uh, I brought a grenade with me because that's kind of yeah I'm not bringing that silenced rifle in we'll need those for quests later uh, so we're just gonna have to make do with what I've got, which is a grenade. Uh, otherwise, we're kind of just back to knife. Um, at least, you know, with just knife, we're better than fists, because that was where we were, and I, I did the noob thing. I ran in there. Oh god, if there's a player this way and he's hitting these stashes, he's already found me. I'm so dead if there's someone coming the other way. Thankfully, with the nerf to the stashes, not many people actually bother with them anymore. Um, but it is possible, as we've seen, to get stuff if you don't have server disconnects. Well, yep. Round three, boys. Um, sounds like someone's dying on the other side of the fence. We're back in. Yeah, there's someone right over there. Let's see if that'll kill him. Maybe. No, overshot it. Big time. What are those scabs doing? Nope. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bother you, sir. Didn't mean to bother you. With the grenade, though. Yeah, completely overshot. I forgot how hard your guy can throw. It's insane. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and check this thing. Please. Please. Ground cash, please be searchable, thank you. If those scabs push me, I'm dead. Uh-huh, uh-huh, green peas, of course, essential for life. Let's keep moving, though. Let's keep moving. Okay, it's really weird that that scab was, like, just hurting himself. If I, I wonder if I waited, I wonder if he would have just, like, sort of died. Natural causes. Have they, have they changed the map? No, no, okay, here it is. Um, when they effort this game updates, I never know what to expect. Let's see, okay, well we know we've got two people over there, so if we get a gun, which this might be... No, it's Comtax. Okay, well I mean Comtax aren't the end of the world. Uh, let's eat the peas. I should have put them over there, damn it. I always do this. Uh, and then we can go and get these capacitors. Give them to me, there we go. Okay, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. 
We know there's two scabs right there. Oh man, I'm so frustrated that I... <laughs> I pushed the button thinking you can cook grenades. I've been playing this game for like 60 hours, which I know is not much. And uh, I still don't remember that you can't cook grenades in this game. I think I even spoke about that in the previous episode. God, I feel like an idiot. Okay, pliers, pistol, 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 apple juice, and a lighter. I think we actually need a zippo for something, don't we? Yeah, ditch the ditch the croutons. We need those for a Jaeger quest later, but I mean, that's far down the line. Uh, we're not going anywhere, anywhere near that in the meantime. Okay, yeah, those scabs are acting really weird. Oh man, I'm so pissed off I, I, I with the grenade. If we can just get a grenade from one of these, we'll be absolutely sorted. Come on, come on, give us something good. Flyers, bullets, uh, PP, eh, not worth it. Keep moving, keep moving. Normally I'd say we should take all ammo, but I mean, we've got so much for that caliber and like nothing to shoot it with really, uh, except one, one overly valued AK at this point. Come on, pistol, nope. Okay, that's a very good helmet, I'll take it. Hollow point trash, that would have been good for the SKS, so well. Uh, nah, did it. Okay, what's open? If the rail extract is open, it's not. Um, we haven't really got anything amazing. Although the helmet and Comtax is pretty sweet. I'm tempted to like kind of just, I don't know. We could, we could keep pushing this way. I was gonna say I'm tempted to go and try and knife those scabs, but I don't think we'll be able to kill them with this thing. Uh, no, nah, realistically not. There are, there are chances for like grenade spawns and things here. I'm very worried we run into players though. That would be the death of us. Oh man, if I timed that, if I moved that grenade better, oh, I'm so frustrated. Oh well, that would have been two, two easy kills right there. And a whole lot of weapons for us. Is it this one? No, it's the next one. It's the one with the generator. Remember that. No, it's not the one with the generator. One of those is supposed to have, um, I remember one of those having jack and fiddle bolts, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Now, it's not this overhang, it's the next one, I believe, that has the... that has the loot, there's the stash, and there's a weapons crate near it as well. Yeah, we just need to be careful on approach here, because of course, there is the very real risk of players coming the other way. Although with the rail railway expo um, not open, I think we should be okay. See now, if I was playing my old style, I would have just sort of bum rushed those uh, those scabs there, and been shot up and progressed nothing. So we're gonna play it a bit more safely. Gonna take it a little more careful. We're gonna see if there's any back here. I don't know. Do, do weapons crates spawn back here? No. Okay. Just checking. I wasn't sure. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what's under this underpass because maybe there's something good for us, right? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be regretting that grenade all night. Like, it's already eaten away at me. <laughs> let's check this weapon crate. If there's anything in it? I'm I'm fully ready to like turn back and go and try and take those scabs out. I know that's a little it's a little rough, but we really need guns. Like more than we need anything else, we need guns. Okay, Gen 3 AK mag, good, but not really what I'm looking for. Uh huh. Oh, even just like a even just like a PP pistol, because I just I get the jump on him, get a single little one tap, voila, we're done. It's very quiet in the interchange. Ah, someone's looted this. Okay, so I am not the only player here. That is good to know. That would also explain why loot's been a bit dry. Although I suppose all the other stashes were full. Let's check this one. People sometimes miss it. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Nope, that is in fact an Osprey silencer. That's pretty good. That's for the Glock, I think. I think. Keep moving. Anything in here? No, I can never remember which ones of these things have the good stuff. Oh well. Let's keep pushing around. We're just gonna hug the edges for now, I think. How far are we into the raid, actually? How much? I lost about 10 minutes there. That's probably a good thing. Hmm. Say that because that means that a lot of the players, like the high loot guys, they're probably gone already, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a stash somewhere back here. I can't ever I can never remember where though. I think it's ground cache. 
And then there's, of course, uh, caches heading towards the mall itself. Is it in the rocks here? Feeling it might be. Yeah, there it is. It's in the rocks. Let's check this thing out. Okay, come on, come on. Give me the good, good. Give me the good, good. You're giving me helmets and things, and I don't really want them. Okay, that's for uh, an MPX, I think. The Tarcola, that's a pretty good find. SP7, huh? What are you for? Are you 9x18? You are 9x18, okay. Uh, maybe we should drink that Tarcola, actually. We do need to start collecting those eventually for the uh, for the food storage crate. But for now, I think we're just going to chug it. Get some hydration, get some energy. Keep moving. So there are a couple of stashes over that way, but I think it's a little too exposed for my liking, so we're just going to keep pushing. Uh, there is a weapon box over there directly in front of me, so let's check that out. Oh, my lag's spiking again. Yeah, I don't know what it's up, man. It's not my internet. Like, I've done a hundred tests. My internet's not good enough to stream, but it's definitely good enough to play this game. It's the servers, which is very frustrating. Oh, come on. Oh, come Yo, are you kidding me? How many times could that have been a gun? Ah. Oh, well. Oh, well. No point fighting it, right? Might as well just keep moving. Uh, let's start make, keeping an eye out for where we're going, though. Power station needs money, so that's kind of off the... That's kind of off the table for us. Oh shit, 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 I think I just saw someone up on the ramp. Rather obviously, not something I'm capable of dealing with right now. Pull up around the cars. Nobody, nobody. Okay, good. So the power station's kind of a death trap. So I'm a little terrified to go anywhere near it. So we're instead going to hug this wall and hope that none of the Giga Chads that hang out in there are looking my way right now. Oh, this is a very stupid. This is a very stupid place to be right now. Oh, we're definitely going to die. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on. Just, just get. Turn left. Just turn left. Don't hit the metal. Just turn left. There we go. Okay. 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 Still alive. Still alive. Let's just squat over here and get some energy back. Give me a gun. Come on. Please. Okay. Guess not. That's been looted. Is there anyone here? I'm not hearing anybody, which is making me kind of tempted to go in, but I'm actually, I just don't have, like, I don't have the loot capabilities, right? Like, even if I get into the mall and I manage to dodge killer, I don't have anything, like, any way to bring anything of value out with me. I could look for dead scabs. I mean, there have been other players here, clearly. Oh, is that a... That was a dead scav. It was not. Okay, let's just keep it moving here. I don't want to run here because if they're inside, they'll hear me at this distance if they got contacts on, like I do. Okay, we're approaching the hole in the fence, so I need to make a decision now. Do I stay or do I go? Hmm. Here's the extract. Is this worth it? Yeah, I think let's get out with the helmet and stuff. We can always drop back in, right? This is what you guys are talking about. We've got to start playing a bit more ratty. A bit more ratty. Okay, we traveled a couple of Ks, found some provisions, uh, threw a grenade, did absolutely nothing of value, and we've got a little bit of experience, so that's all fine. Okay, great. Unfortunately, we are approaching level 5, which means that uh, we're very soon going to stop getting free heals, which is going to be a death sentence for us. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, not going to lie. Again, if we die, we're allowed to heal with money. We don't have a lot of money. Uh, I'm probably going to have to start sa just save it for the, for the wounds for now. We could sell that armor. In fact, maybe it's a good idea, right? Maybe we sell this helmet, that armor, just get rid of it. Get a bit of cash in the bank, you know, a bit of, a, a bit of protection, a bit of certainty. Uh, we'll get we'll get Ragman pretty high up, which will be nice. 
Okay, let's offload what we've got. I'm going to start hoarding Zippos. We need we trade those for fuel eventually. Uh, caps we'll need for something eventually. Apollon will need for a quest, so we'll hold on to it. Uh, a bit of another bandage doesn't go doesn't go wrong, that's for sure. Uh, the fast helmet. This is a very very cool helmet. Um, let's get the M2s out there. The M32s. Sorry, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the M32s. Uh, do we use you for junk? I think we do. I think we do. I think we already start stashing stuff in there. I don't see why not. Okay, great. Uh, we could probably sell this. It's not really worth much, but it's fine. We'll get rid of it. Uh, do we sell these helmets? Well, they got night vision attachments, right? Which means like eventually they'll be worth a lot. But right now they're kind of useless. If we see how much we can get for them, let's have a quick look. Uh, Ragman won't buy this. I think it's because it's too damaged, but he will buy this one. So let's give him that one. That gives us an extra, yeah, 66 in the bank. That's worth 81k for that fast helmet. Yeah, that's going. That's going. Sorry, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that, that gets us actually quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of work done with Ragman. Let's just let's just good. Uh, so let's head back to our stash. Let's repair this. Why doesn't he buy it? I'm gonna pay five grand there, and let's see if he'll buy it now. I thought he would. Oh yeah, it was just too damaged. Okay, so paying paying five grand to get thirty back, not too bad. We have hundred and seventy-two. Uh, what else can we get in the hideout? Any little advantage we can take at this point, I'm I'm willing to go for. I'll keep the contacts though, because once we've got a decent loadout, those will be helpful. Okay, we can go for vents. Twenty-five k. I think that's worth doing. Okay, if vents are established, we now have uh, a pipe. Yay! Yay! We have a pipe. Okay, let's uh, put the put the put the candles on. Um, anything else we can buy? Doesn't look like it. Uh, nah, not really. Neither side. No. Okay, so for t lavatory we need toilet paper, toothpaste, and soap. Damn it, I did see soap. Gotta start paying attention to what we need for this stuff. Um, some meds and a syringe. Okay, those are pretty easy to find. What is this? Duct tape. Yeah, duct tape and some cash for a rest space. Heating is some matches. Okay, 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 okay. That's all pretty straightforward. Um, it's pretty basic at the beginning. It gets a lot more complicated as you get higher. Bolts, bolts, and we can buy this. Okay, bolts and screws. Uh, yeah, maybe we just start doing little runs like that. Can we trade... Da -da 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 character. Let's do a quick check for these things here. Um, oh, I can't even check the f flea market for... Uh, Required search. Um, I thought they I thought they enabled that, that you would be able to look at that. I guess that's coming. I guess it's an upcoming patch, yeah. That would be nice, um, to be able to check the flea market for, like, stuff it's linked to, at least. Save for weapon parts. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll make do. Um, that also buys us a bunch of space back down here, which is nice. Not that space is a problem. <laughs> uh, let's sell that grip to Ragman, uh, to Mechanic. Yeah, 4,000 rubles. I won't say no. Uh, we could probably get rid of that hollow point. We have so much ammo um, in the 39. 5.45 by 39 capacity. Uh, PPS, PBBS, Golnik. P this is like the super duper good one, right? Uh, oh my god, yeah. It sells for 9,000 for that stack. That probably goes for a fortune on the flea market. God, hardcore sucks. <laughs> Let's see what we can trade for, though. Um, okay, let's go to barters. This is what I'm looking for. Elites and a screwdriver, and we'll be able to get this shotgun. And then I think we just need to get a certain grip uh, from Jaeger, which... I, oh, we have to pay for it, damn it. That's not, that's not available to us. Yeah, Mike, I'm beginning to think hardcore might be beyond my skill set, boys, but it's okay. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing. I think I'm going to go back to interchange, um, and we're going to see if we can't come out on top again. Do we go at night? Yeah, I think we just go at night. Okay, we're back in, and unfortunately, it looks like we got the Emercom checkpoint spawn, which is a bit of a rough one. Uh, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm going to push very far away from uh, where we started, because this is a death trap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, jump, jump, man, please jump. Okay, well, we're dead. We're just dead. I just don't have the stamina to do this map right now. <laughs> come on. Come on, baby. Jump for me. Jump for Miles. Come on. There we go. 
Okay. Okay. Can we we can search this one, can't we? Yeah, there's an ammo box. Let's check that. Uh, it's worth remembering that like a million players spawn all around us. It's currently nine at night. Uh, in the game, it's it's midnight in real life because that's my life. That's how I live it. On the edge, 24/7. On the edge of breakdown. <laughs> Let's jump the fence here. There is actually a barrel stash, I think, in here. We can loot. God, it's so exposed though. I hate this. I hate this so much. Is it a barrel stash or a ground stash? Um, am I going to be able to find it? It's it's by this bush. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. I know it's here somewhere. If anyone's got one of those new thermal sights on that shotgun thing, I am so dead. I don't see it. Oh, come on, dude. I know it's here somewhere. It's too dark. I can't see it. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Not worth the risk. Not worth the risk. We're going to leg it. And uh, what we could do is we could push up there and go for the weapon crates. Um, that spawn inside, but they don't they don't typically have that many guns uh, in my in my experience So I think we're just going to keep moving Although actually, mm, you know there's, Okay, let's hit the ground cache in here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Who knows? And uh, if we, and when we don't we can circle back and try to get there's a series of weapon uh, Sort of crates on the inside of the red shopping center or whatever it's called Any ammo in there? Nope of course not. Okay. Anybody up here? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I believe this one's a barrel cache, yes. And they glow like nothing else in the middle of the night, which is wonderful. Very considerate of the Russians to build glow-in-the-dark barrels. Oh, meds. We need those. Weapon parts would be good. We could actually make an AK with that if we get enough bits, but it's fine for now. Just take those as is. Okay, so now we could keep pushing this way and go for the the regular run. Or you know what? I think we just go for the regular stash run. I think I just need to play play to the strengths, right, that I know I have. And that's that's pretty much my knowledge of the caches <laughs> on this map. Okay, it's really I didn't realize the sun set this late. Um, I don't know if it's tied to like real life European summers because yeah, the sun sets stupid late in Switzerland. Oh, please, please, we're friends, we're friends, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, we're friends. Just leave me be. He threw a goddamn grenade at me. It must have been a, a raider, maybe? I didn't even know raiders could, I didn't even know scavs threw grenades. Um, I think it was a scav because of the callout, but I mean, it could have been a player role-playing, who knows, who knows, this is Tarkov. Okay, well, as soon as he attacked me, it really lit up inside there, so I'm guessing that there's... This map's a little more active than I thought it was. Okay, is that, is that, is that one left me alone? Okay, we're going to assume yes and just keep moving. Okay, so we're here to rat around and get out with the good good. The meds is a big win. It gets us med station, med station gets us better healing, and uh, considering that I'm very soon going to be level 5... Uh, we're going to need as much healing as possible, please. And thank you. Uh, my apologies to YouTube. I'm sure you guys cannot see anything. Okay, come on, Stash. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Broken G-phone is not something good. Pistol? Hey, pistol. Okay, now do we go back for that scabby boy? I think we do. I think we... I think we check the other caches first. I think we check the other caches first... And then we make a call. If the railway exfil's open, I'll take it out. Uh, it's not, so we're going to have to cycle back anyway. So let's go ahead and check the rest of these, and then we can always just go back for them, right? Let's check this one. Let's check this one and the, and the next one at the very least. Because we might be able to pull some armor. Uh, that doesn't look like armor. Okay, that's TT ammo. Uh, I will drink the juice. Thank you. That I will not say no to. We should probably check how many bullets we've got in this thing, and also what kind. Ah, uh, 9 by 18 huh? Okay. Okay, so you take 9 by 18 rounds, it's good to know. Um, hmm. 
What's the sight picture like on this thing? Terrible. Alright. I really don't want to run into a player coming the other way, so... We're gonna hit this one, and then I'm probably gonna cycle back for that scav, because the Emicom checkpoint, weirdly enough, which is where I spawned, is actually open. Oh, come on, please be some armor. It could be a packer. Could be a packer. No, it's a fleece. And a wreck battery. And a PP9. Nice. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Um, can't really take anything else as much as I'd like to. The PP9 also takes 9 by 18, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, let's get that on single. Much better sight picture on this thing. And let's go back for that guy. Because if I can, he's got a shotgun I need. Uh, for Prapper's quest. Okay, come on, come on. And you know, he's already thrown his grenade. So maybe we'll get like, although I do not have, I do not have the optics, as it were, for this. Um... Emicom checkpoint. Yeah, that's where we goddamn spawned. Why the hell would that be open for us? Oh, whatever. Whatever, this game sometimes, am I right? Could also do hold and fence, but I mean that's still on the other side of the mall, goddamn mall, so we're gonna have to do this anyway. Okay. I'm gonna be a little quieter for a second while we scope this guy out. Ah, there he is. He's over there for some reason. I think those might be scavs trying to extract. Yeah, they'd be kind of weird, huh? Huh. What the hell are they doing? Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Okay, but that's just one. There's always two. Remember, kids. Always two. Turn up the volume. Okay. Nice. MP. Ah, oh, it's an MP153. Damn it. I thought it was the MP133. That's what we need. Uh, okay, well it is what it is. Ooh, that's a pretty good rig. A Mark III is a pretty good win for us. Uh, I'll take a rig for sure. Take the knife too, why not? Okay, I believe the MP153, that's the, is that the new one? No, that's the MP155 is the new one. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on a 5 there. Put a shizzle. Anything else on you? Nope, I often miss backpacks. Okay, now, the real question. I think we just leg it back to the Emicom checkpoint and extract with this, yeah? I think that's our move here. Just gotta be careful. Shotgun is a big win, but we need to be very, very, very careful now not to get sniped by a player chilling up in that. I do love the PP, but the ammo in that thing was absolute garbage. Like, it just it just doesn't do any damage. Oh, sorry, not the PP, the KDAR. Uh, but the fact that it's 9 by 18 means it's fairly easy to reload. Okay, that's the second time we've seen scavs spazzing out on the, uh, on interchange now. Which means that that actually might be a fairly reliable way to go ahead and get them. I think they're waiting for another scav to extract with. Um, yeah, and if he hadn't shot at me first, I would have thought that maybe there was a chance we could have, like, I don't know, wiggled? Ooh. I thought I heard somebody, but no, we're good. We're good. We good, we good. Okay, now the sh rounds we've got for this are not the worst, but they also they're not the best, right? So like we do we can't really take on anyone with armor, but this should be able to handle scabs if we get close enough. It is uh, yeah seven millimeter buckshot. 
more of a fan of the Magnum 8, but hey, can't always have what we want. Yeah, Emicom's a great place to get freaking sniped by assholes with night vision, so... It's just, it's got like, you can hit it from anywhere on this goddamn map. And we're gonna look lit up like a sore thumb, so I'm pretty much gonna break this and then just leg it. Uh, we're probably gonna die on this, this, this run, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all about the try, right? Okay, let's get to these things and lie down. That's my usual strat. Just beyond this barrier. Check, check, checks. Nobody. Okay, and then we'll push forward once we've got full stamina and we'll extract. Nobody coming down road. Nope. Okay, and let's push. And let's push. Is this not the extract point? Am I... Oh, wait, hold on. I think I'm too far... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go this way. Emicom's this way. Oh, my bad. My bad. I heard someone coughing. <laughs> We're back to door shotguns, boys. This time it's the night shotgun. Uh, I would love to turn on the light to uh, show you all what I'm looking at, but that's going to get me killed, so no. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the campfire in the distance. thought that was a red dot. Um, a laser dot. Now, there are stashes here, but I can't, I can't ever find them without, uh, without sunlight, so I'm not even going to bother. We're just going to keep pushing. I know it seems a little strange to try and get out of interchange with this rig um, without anything in it, considering we're, you know, on interchange. But I'm going to just, I'm just going to play it a little safer. To be honest, I need the inventory space, um, you know, future inventory space, more than I need, uh, like, a bunch of screws. I will, however, check this thing. Come on, come on, come on. Soap. I do need soap. And I believe that is uh, Poxam. That barters for something, I think. Yeah, anyone with night vision is going to smack us, so we need to be careful here not to make too much noise. Because, like, if they're going to see us, they've seen us already, right? Uh, now, there is a stash here somewhere. Ah, there it is. There it is, right there. Okay, let's have a look. I'd like to fill this up as much as possible. Um, ooh, some ammo I don't know the use of. Great, 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 great. I'll take it. That is not a caliber I am familiar with, but I will take anything I can get at this point. Now, finding ammo for those more obscure guns, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Because, uh, you know, when you find the guns itself, it's kind of like, okay, well, how the hell do I use this thing if I can't even find bullets for it? Well, we've already solved half the problem. Okay, there's a double stash down here. And then we're up against the Emicom. It's like down in here somewhere. I'm, I'm certain you guys cannot see a single thing. I'll try and up the gamma in post but uh, it might not be enough. Okay, here we are, up against the stashes. There's one behind this set of crates and one behind the other. Go ahead and loot these up. Ooh, some uh, copper slug, some kind. PS ammo, don't mind if I do. Let's uh, scooch on across here and search. Oh, where is it? There it is. There's a ground stash. I can't even see it. I just sort of know where it is by, like, feel and memory. Oh. That's awkward. Uh. That's smaller than this one, so that's just gonna have to stay. If we had a backpack, we could have taken that, damn it. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's okay. It's okay. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We're just trying to get the hell out of here alive. Right, okay, now I'm gonna leg it, because... Yeah. 
This is the dangerous part. God, I hate this. I hate this so much. Freaking bush bookies, man. I just know they're here with their goddamn night vision. About to smack me, take away all my toys. Anybody? Oh, nobody. Okay, well, don't mind if I do. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, sir. I will take the extract. Excellent. Okay, and we only had to fire, what, like 20 bullets to get a gun? But hey, hey, it's all gains, man. It's all progress. So we made a bunch of money. We uh, we actually we got out with some some items, not much. Um, I wasn't going to try. It was, with an, it was a single shot with the APS, damn it. So we shot 11. That APS hit him in the head, which did one. And then we only hit him three other times. Yeah, I, I just, without the, I really need to get the shooting range set up, because I'm not, I'm still not sure, like, what the iron sights on certain guns do, like, where you're supposed to look on the iron sights, um, because for some guns, you look, you know, at, right at the base, like, you line up the, the two points, and you look at the base of where the, they overlap, with some guns, it's, it's the center, um, I don't know of any guns where it's the top, but, uh, most guns, it's the base or the middle, but, I mean, that makes a big difference, right, when you're at, like, 50 meters, 100 meters, um, that was at about 10, so <laughs> it should have mattered a bit less than it did. Uh, I think I just wasn't actually hit. I think I was like aiming at the light source, not above it, which is what you're supposed to do. But it's okay. It's okay. We got through it. We're done. So we have three more guns. Hey, that's a win. That is a win in my books. Um, the ER bayonet, I don't think they trade for anything. Uh, I, I genuinely actually am not sure. Um, so we have some more PS ammo. Don't mind if I do. We now have 125 of that. That's pretty excellent. So what what caliber is this? 127 by 55. Supersonic lead bullet with an aluminium core. I have no idea what 127 by 55 is. Is that for like the P90 or something? BPGS. This is 9 by 39. This is uh, it's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, what are you, Gexa? You are TKM. Okay, this is the same round as the. Uh, yeah, this is this is like the it's like the hollow point. Um, this is the same round as that FMJ we had, which jammed up our SKS. Okay, the soap. That's great. The poxaram. Um, for now we'll keep it, but I'm not sure what it's for to be honest. Uh, we need a bunch of these for med station level two, so we'll start holding on to them. Uh, yes, those shotgun shells can absolutely be decommissioned, thrown over there. The shotgun itself, ooh, that's a big boy, isn't it? Uh, that can just live over here for now. Yeah, the P9, that's a good one. That's a good one to get. Uh, you are 9 by 18 Yes, you are. Okay, but now I need to be careful, because not not all 9 by, uh, 9 by 18 is made equal. So apparently, the best way to do this would be to... Yes, okay, so this does actually fit in the goddamn chamber. Okay, I should have checked that with the FMJ, and I didn't. And we paid the price. So, PPE, what are you? You are a hollow point bullet. Okay, so that's not ideal. You are just a simple lead core bullet. Uh, yeah, rudimentary cartridge indeed. It's pretty trash. 10% charge to cause bleeding versus 15% charge to cause bleeding. Uh, I think we'll probably, I'd actually rather have the hollow point, as insane as it sounds, at the top. It's got zero armor penetration, but this thing's going to be treated like a glorified pistol, so it's fine. Um, you take a crap ton of bullets, don't you? And what do you have? You have the, the crap one, yeah. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to standardize this slightly. Uh, let's take all of the crap ammo, and we'll throw that in the APS for now. And you take all the hollow point and put that in the PP9. Okay, half mask. We need those. I can go in the quest bag. Yes, we got two of them. Very nice. M80. That's a good one. That's a good one. If we ever get a Mosin, I think that fits in that, doesn't it? 762 by 51. Yeah, I think so. Okay, the Mark III. That is huge for us. That's going to go ahead and live down here. Going to keep that for later. Very nice. Oh, oh, hold on. You're 9 by 18, aren't you? Yes, you are. Uh, you are solid hardened steel. That is more like it. Okay. Um, I think we're going to fit that into this thing. So, yeah. 
So this thing's got like a bunch of piercing ammo and then hollow point. Nah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Let's keep doing this. I know I'm I know I'm really overthinking this, considering we're probably just gonna get the one tapped as soon as we step into a any game. But it's okay. It's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm I'm actually I'm more of a fan of the pistol, so I'm gonna give myself some of the garbage ammo with some of that good good on top. Okay? Then we're gonna load the garbage into here, followed by the hollow point. Okay, so what have you got in the top? You've got garbage. That's what I was worried about. Take that out. Let's unload you. You can have a bit more garbage with your hollow point. There we go. Okay, lovely. Meds are out. I think that means med station is now available to us. Crackers and a G-phone. Uh, I think we need broken ones of these. Yeah, this is a broken G-phone. Damn. That thing is messed. Okay, but yeah, we, uh, we actually do need those for something. Let's go check out the... Is that not enough for the med station? What am I missing? Meds and... Oh, is meds in a syringe? Yeah, the soap's for the lavatory. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even have to check. I know. I know what the problem is. Yeah, let's just confirm that. Med station is, yes, a syringe. Okay, but yeah, the meds are good. Meds are good. So let's go ahead and put this all away. Right in there. Um, I guess we'll keep the crackers for now. Yeah, just sort of stash them right there. Okay, that's pretty good. So, what are we taking into the next one? Back to interchange for sure. Uh, do another night run, probably. And I think I'll take the PP9. Yeah, I'll take the PP9. Okay, hopefully this time we can find a backpack, though. But that's going to have to happen in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, any feedback you have for me, please leave in the comments down below. This one wasn't too spicy, but I think it's, it's going to be okay. I tried upping the gamma, so hopefully we have enough. And uh, you guys can see what was going on in that last raid. And uh, yeah, that's it. So as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.